Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's see what we have for you for the week. This is for Aries. And remember, these readings won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Oh. So overarching energy for you message for you for the week Aries what do we have for Aries for the week overarching energy okay Aries we have the wheel wheel of fortune as fre as a, a fresh new start or at the end of delays Sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. So we have the Wheel of Fortune as your overarching energy, which is beautiful. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams this week to see what we have for you. very used tarot of dreams <laughs> okay what do we have for aries please for the week what is aries weekly message please angel spirits guides message for aries we have the three of coins is your challenge the strength card card of leo is the advice from spirit and your near future outcome the king of swords The star. Five of wands. And the king of swords, we have the eight of cups. Bottom of the deck, the moon. Aries, it feels like a challenge for some of you is a kind of work thing. You know, the three of coins can be collaborations, partnerships. It can also be within a team dynamic. But it feels for some of you this is... For whatever reason, I don't feel this is working out the way you hoped it would. Because Journey of the Star is that kind of dream energy. This is what I dreamt of. This is what I'm working towards. But because it's in the challenge position, I feel someone isn't sure whether this is working for them or not. It might well be you within a current team, or it could well be to do with a business partnership of some kind. Let's... Let's clarify that Three of Pentacles, please. Yeah, the High Priestess, deep down, High Priestess energy. The High Priestess is your, what your intuition is telling you, generally in times of uncertainty. Because this was, this is an energy of hope, faith, reasons to be optimistic but it's in the challenge position which means that you might be losing hope on a situation or, or questioning something that was a dream here that looked good that you thought was a wish coming true but I don't know if it's working out that way again it could be in other areas this could be to do with relationships of some kind too but for a lot of you I feel it's to do with a, a money area career thing Because we have conflict, five of wands conflict, it could be inner conflict or external conflict, you know, this can sometimes be the energy of struggling to get everybody on the same page, moving in the same direction, and it might well be for some of you this kind of, I mean, sometimes, again, the five of wands can also be this energy of, of
one person wanting their voice heard more than anybody else you get it sometimes in a corporate environment it's sometimes not a healthy environment to be in where everybody's wanting to have their way everybody's wanting to have their say and no one's agreeing on anything it's a kind of energy of in it for themselves as well so you might be dealing with that kind of energy this is spirit saying to you you are strong enough, you are courageous enough now to face the issue that needs to be faced in, to, in order to overcome it. It's an energy of being completely honest with yourself in facing something that's difficult to face, that needs courage and conviction to face. However, this is an energy of an issue can be resolved, but it requires being faced and having courage. And being in your power, Aries, something that you're not short of. Again, the moon energy is uncertainty and doubt. It might well be for some of you, you're uncertain about what this is now and maybe choosing to walk away. For some of you, it might well be you're uncertain about working, walking away. But that king of swords might be somebody who is telling you the truth. It could be a family member, a friend. It could be somebody giving you some support or advice. Um could even be a professional of some kind but this is somebody who is telling you like it is who is telling you who sees the truth of the situation and is advising you giving you some good advice here however it's sought in terms of how you do move forward maybe how you do move on from a situation or how you do move or to walk away somebody might be telling you to walk away Others of you, it might well be if you're considering walking away, getting some advice in some way. <clears throat> I'm going to clarify that wheel because the wheel suggests endings and beginnings. The Eight of Cups is walking away from something that you hoped was a dream. You hoped was a wish coming true. But for some of you, it didn't turn out to be that way. And there was always that energy with the Eight of Cups. I hope for more. But it's not turned out that way, so I'm moving on to something better. I'm pursuing a new dream, a new wish. Okay. Let's clarify that let's clarify the eight of ones, eight of cups, I should say. Clarify the eight of cups. Thank you. The knight of coins to another job. Bottom of the deck, we have Knight of Swords, communication to do with another job. I mean, this is another business opportunity. Knight of Coins is a business opportunity. A new contract, um, a solid offer, somebody making you an offer. They may be making you a better offer than what you're currently getting now. Um, because it's a very abundant energy, the Knight of Coins as well. The Knight of Swords is communication, conversation coming in, which it might well be for some of you. You're unsure of, unsure of your certain situation. And again, this King of Swords is instrumental in bringing you the clarity that you need. It might well be that this King of Swords is offering you something. This can also be somebody who might be giving you some sound advice. It could even be an intermediary like... Um, a recruitment agent of some kind, if it's business orientated or a business person or business manager. But either way, you kind of get the idea here, Aries. It will be different for each of you, but there is a, the message remains the same. Somebody's bringing in advice or clarity to a situation that gives you the clarity that you need to pursue something better, I feel. And in this energy, it feels very much like money areas, walking away from something that's not serving you to something better. Again, the Knight of Coins, a new job, because the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour. Good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. Things are opening up for you. And it links with that transmutable energy between ends and endi endings and beginnings. You have an opportunity now to do the right thing for you. And the King of Swords as an energy, if this was your energy, is somebody who's seen the truth of the situation and doing the right thing for everybody concerned, but also for their future. Making the right judgment calls, making the right decisions. And I feel for some of you, it's to, to, to go for this. Whatever you're being offered. 
it feels quite significant because again opportunity is opening up for you it feels a really hopeful reading Aries okay and sometimes you know that the moon energy is that kind of hidden blessings sometimes it is that the energy with the high priestess of just surrender and trust where your intuition is guiding you okay final message for aries Yeah, oh my goodness, <laughs> we have transformation. This is my favorite card in this deck, the fairy deck. Uh, the fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation, the best is yet to come. And what is transformation? It's turning something negative to positive by doing something about it. And this is the energy I feel spirit is telling you there are better, there's something better coming your way. And I feel you're moving towards something better with this offer that you're being given that's what i have for you aries i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe and i will see you next time thank you